You see, Jezebel means exalted by Baal or Baal is with me. Elijah means Yah is with me. There is a battle between Jezebel and Elijah. And the battle is a battle for government. Babylon is already exalted in a lot of parts of Europe. The one that owns the king owns the people. You fight for souls, Satan fights for kings. You win souls, Satan wins kings. With kings, Satan can take the soul you want. Do you understand what we are saying here? You see, there is a place in the kingdom of God for kings, but that, that thing can only happen when we have brightness. Gentiles shall come to thy light and what? Kings to what? The brightness of thy rising. Something that cannot be ignored. Because to take territories is not to take land, it's to take kings. In warfare, once the king is dead, war ends. So guess what happened? There is a prophecy already that the government will be upon the shoulder of Messiah. Guess what Satan does? Jezebel of Babylon comes to seduce the kings of the earth, commits fornication with them, and then ride upon them like a beast. So the beast that Babylon rides are the kings of the earth. We are supposed to carry the government upon our shoulders. But before we reach the government, Babylon sits upon them as the principality that rides them. This one is for ancient men and women. So now, the shoulders are ready, but no government to carry. And although you are seeing the crown beast, there is a principality riding that beast. And that principality is called Jezebel. It's Babylon. And that prince is a prince of profanity. And he seduces that prince, those princes or those kings into fornication. Intercourse. His covenant. They enter with that, that entity called Jezebel. And even in Israel, when Jezebel wins the king, Jezebel will bring Baal to Israel. So you will find nations of prophecies and promise living out another God's agenda. America saying, said in God we trust. Go and look at the God that is there now. Because Jezebel is the one driving their kings. Jezebel is a spirit that changes the order, the natural order. Because Jezebel is an affront against God. Jezebel is a sensual spirit. A spirit of senses and not of discernment. Germany, the laws have been so turned aside that it seems as though they first value women, then children, then pets before men. You see, what I want to tell you now is not, you know, uh, feminism, power to men, power to women. I'm telling you something that is an affront against what, what God established. So in cities that Jezebel rules, the priestess of Jezebel must control the king. So naturally, you will find that in those countries, the women are stronger than men. Because the government strips you of your responsibility as a man. You are supposed to provide for your children. When government starts providing for your children, what can you tell them? Government pays your children. That's why government can easily take away your child. And then you are rendered useless as a man. And then in school, they will tell your children, your parents have no right to beat you, to do this, to do this, if they try to report us. So you tell your child, come and carry this thing. The child will look at you and say no. It's so strange that if your child applies for emancipation, if you come to visit your child, you will come as a guest. For you, I want to go to abroad. You don't know what is waiting for you there. Many people took a very good sister from the village and then they traveled together abroad. And the sister called police on them. You, that is the, the Indaboski now. You will begin to buy pampas there. You see, that thing is it's not bad to wash plate, but you do it out of love as a man, not out of fear of the government. Because the government will take your power because they know to weaken the home weaken the man because it's Abraham that will command his household. What happens if government now start doing your job for you? I will not pay your school fees again. Government is paying them already. They will tell your children, God forbid, that your parents don't have the right to tell you whether you're a boy or a girl. You're the one to choose. The brother told us about a book for children for kindergarten. An essay. He, told, he said he was looking at it. He said, what's happening? They told the children to write an essay on the favorite part of the house that they like touching themselves. So I think reacts to you. Babylon. Babylon. It, it rides the kings and shuts the mouth of prophets. If you do not know God, it's not like enough, it's not like Africa that we can stand here and speak the word of God with boldness. The government will tell you what to preach so that you don't get arrested for hate speech. Even the government has now become the one who inspires you. So don't blame the pastors who compromise and go there and become money pastors. Because the only thing you have to preach there are things that appeal to the emotions of men. Because the devil is working on them through the emotions. So just tell them they will make it. 
they are okay, they should stay positive and be confident in themselves. Yes, that's, that's what governments want you to preach. Don't tell them about hell and heaven. No, no, don't do that. Don't attack any iniquity. No, that's hate speech, you know. Allow gay and lesbians to come to the church. Just tell them Jesus loves them the way they are. Tell them, oh, we don't hate on anyone. Just come the way you are. You will change. And after some time, pastor too has changed. So that's your uncle that is telling you, yeah, we're okay. Are you sure it's okay in America? That's why you see, you hear stories of certain men killing their wives and killing themselves. They didn't know what system they went to. And that's enough for us telling me that some parents, if they want to beat their children, they will deceive them to travel with them to Africa. He said that some of them from the airport, they will start beating their children. I say, my God. He said, yes. The Bible says, if you spare the rod, you spoil. Satan wants to spoil them. So it takes your ability to use the rod. Why can Satan do that? He now rides upon the king. Meanwhile, if the government is upon our shoulder, then government will function by the laws of our God. But if the government is upon the shoulder of Jezebel, who is a daughter of Baal, Baal is a god of fertility by corruption. In those days, you sacrifice to Baal at the beginning of rainy season. And Baal only collects children. Generations, that's what Baal is, is children. And in those days, the dead bodies of children has to lie littered on the streets. So, if you go to a place that worships Baal, before the rainy season, there's a stench all over because the rotting bodies of children are all over the streets, in the high places. They say that's what fertilizes the ground. And then at the end of the rainy season, you still have to sacrifice to Baal. Children, that's what Baal takes. Guess what Satan takes in the Western world? It's children. Satan has corrupted the Western world because it corrupted the children. In, in school there, you see them read, reading book, Little Witches, this... There is nothing like the God of Israel there. No, no Bible, no nothing. A brother told us that the daughter reported them to the school teachers or something. The daughter said he wants to tell the school teacher something. They say what? Well, say when she does wrong, that the parent spanks her. Spanks her too hard. It's an African parent. No, a normal discipline. I'm not sure it's even up to what a lot of us have received. Your father is a custom officer. He goes to learn the ways they torture criminals. He learns it and he experiments at home. If you have an African parent, you bear your body the scars of righteousness. Yes. I say to my friends, holiness was beaten into me by my parents. You must know God whether by choice or by force. If you don't want to go into the kingdom peacefully, they will kick you into the kingdom. By beating me one day, they were, you will not go to hell. You will not go to hell. There was a brother I had that the, that the father is a pastor. When he's beating him, he will first pray to God. <laughs> he say, Lord, help him to understand that I'm doing this for you. Amen, amen. The beating will start. <laughs> I told you about a brother who was a prayer band leader here. Fireful. He went to Europe. After some years, we heard he has now become gay. He said he's a gay, he says online, clearly, they showed me he's a gay Christian. He, God loves, he said, God loves them. He, the, a brother that used to hold hands and pray. What kind of prince is in that land? I told you that don't allow anybody to deceive you and tell you that African demons are stronger than American demons. I don't know where people got that foolishness from. That in America, when you want to pray, God, heaven just open. Who told you? A land where you want to even pray, they will come and tell you, hey, noise, noise, you're making noise. I, I told you how demons are around. There is a demon that makes people worship false God. Africa is better because Africa still has a knowledge of God. There's reverence for God. The only issue is that they always worship false God, many of them. But there is a desire for worship. So we practice witchcraft here, sorcery. Anyone that displays power, they worship. But in America, what happens there is godlessness. There's no God to worship. The power that can make a people godless, fear that power. And if you would ever want to worship any God, worship Satan. Satan is the one advertised. Satan is the one publicized by celebrities. That's the real God of America. In case they've not told you, America is not a Christian nation. Don't think English is associated to Christianity. You know, feel that, okay, the one that speaks English is Christian. The one that doesn't speak English is not Christian. Oh, God, have mercy. 